Alright, welcome back to my Monster Train 200 plus shard rotations. Last time we were Rector Flicker paired with Stygian Frozen Lance, and we did a nice, eventually nice, it started a little rough, but uh, end of the game was good. Eel Gorgon infused with Paraffin Enforcer Run. It worked out well once we made sure to get that floor space post ring 6. This time though we are starting off with one of my favorites, a nice gin drink, but otherwise we are going to just the good old Wormkin. And we will pair with, who haven't we done? Let's go with, hmm. Ah, uh, oh, we just did melting, so let's not do them again. Let's not do the back to back, right? Right. Let's pair us with some Umbra. Umbra's fun. Check, we have not done this one. Cool. Then let's get going. Oh, man, that's a lot of... Some nice consume cards we're getting. Echo Transfer, this is a pretty good start. Talos the Empowered, so that's Rage and Armor again. Fell Wings of Fury, so just Angry Fell. Oh, so much anger. Surf the Chase, so no buffs. What a jerk. Um, and Mask of Penumbra is good with these cards. Split Anvil does pair well, though. Uh, let's do Split Anvil. I like Split Anvil. It gets a lot of interesting things you can do with it. Get big turns. Um, we're going to go to Care. Infector's fine, but it's probably the weakest of the three paths. Decay and Corruptor, of course, mean both very strong. All right, we just want to make sure this guy stays nice and healthy, and then we just build up a top floor train steward, and I think we'll be doing well. We want to make sure this guy, let's just, yeah, that's going to kill that off. Nice and simple. We're just going to keep pumping that up. That doesn't matter. Uh, why not just save the forgotten trade? Who cares? And, ooh, a lifesteal. Yeah. Look, I will even give you more attack. Alright, I think this was a nice simple win. Just big morsels. He had 54 attack at the end. More attack than health. Ooh, we have double transfers. We'll take the bounding echoes. And we don't have the direct backline clear. I'll take the immortal trade. I think that's going to be good for us. For one shadow. Okay. Merchant of Steel is the Worm Kin banner. And we do see the temple right away. I think the Carapace is a better unit. Endless, all right. Uh, neither of these. I mean, this guy's a scaler. He just doesn't fit in our floor. I was hoping for something else. We don't see another temple to ring four, though. We're going to skip those. None are quite my favorite. We're just going to see what's here. <laughs> We're just going to pump this guy up a bit. Spell chain is great on Forgotten Trade, plus 10 in Piercing. I have no damage spells. We're going to have to fix that in the future, aren't we? We definitely will. 
Okay. Spikes, sure. Lots of damage. Um, fourteen, nineteen, twenty-four, twenty-nine, thirty-two. So I kind of need that life steal right away. We're just gonna have that one take the hit. Hmm. We definitely killed that. Um, we'll have you take some damage. We'll have that go die. Cool. Play those both middle. We're still going to build up top. And let's see. Bop, bop. I think actually, if we just, yeah, we pump him up, the life seal is going to carry us through. Nice and simple. Good runs. We'll take the Echo Infusion. Could always use some more health. And of course, the Perils of Production. Who doesn't like some good old-fashioned rage? And Extra Reap is amazing. Keeper of Echoes is good. What is worth copying? Honestly, not much at the moment. I'm going to duplicate that once. I'm a big fan, unless you have something super overpowered. The single dupe is better. Um, we're going to dupe that perils as well. Yeah, we're just going to do it like this. We're going to fill up as much as possible on that damage. And... I'm going to do that. We'll get some more of that stuff going. We want to keep our guy as alive as possible, I think. So we want to keep pumping him up. Well then. Well, that's unfortunate. This might be a bust. Most definitely is a bust. All right, we're not even going to bother with that. That just was a uh, a bit of a failure on my part. Think we do it like this. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, right? And we'll just add. I don't know if we actually want to play that out currently. I kind of like just have making more chump blockers.
There we go. Life steal. Life steal. Um, we're gonna put out a couple guys here. There we go. That's nice. We just do it like this. Um, hmm. I think we just take the two. We load up on the life steal. Even though that gets give me the two ember drain. Ooh, this is nice though. Right. This should be an easy kill as long as I get something to trigger more reap. Let's see, it was a bad hand. Forgotten Trade, Mortal Trade, Pack Morsels, Rebel Morsels. So there are bad hands next round, I just don't think they're likely. There we go. Two damage, get a kill. Not horrible at all. Take my rewards. Oh, uh, that's good. On Earth Remains ain't bad either. Neither is Perfect Insanity. Perfect Insanity is my boss answer. Hmm. Go definitely go steal next round. Take the On Earth Remains because I do have the Split Anvil. Here's some nice things. Um, I'm going to skip. Take the draw. Yeah, multi strike into you is amazing. Lifesteal or. Damage shields, what I was hoping for. Double morsels, I don't have floor space. Plus six, plus six around isn't bad. If I do that, I could play top. And scale, no, we'll just do the plus 10, plus 10. Yeah, we just do health. Still nothing for that because I'm not taking damage spells because I'm smart. Um, we get rid of uh, packed morsels. We have so much morsel generation. Hmm. You know what? Let's take Infector. I feel like flexing. That's going to be fun. We're going to start getting rid of stuff we do not want. Um, which is going to be this train steward and a shade splitter. This is fine. I mean, oh man, is that 
That's a lot of damage, right? That's 42, 64. <laughs> wow. Well, we might as well get as much out of that as possible. Gold. No, I think we need to keep my health. We'll take a big chunk of damage. I do want more attack here, though, instead of just the health, because I want to put lifesteal on him. Um, because the lifesteal is, I believe, how I'm going to be winning this. Take a lot of damage here. It's okay, it's okay. I darn it. Don't get what I need there, which is fine. There's a life steal and a damage shield. It's more life steal. But is it enough? Now it is. Okay. That works for me. Huge damage taken. Those damage shield on these. Oh man, these guys with haste. Just absolutely brutal. 49. Okay. Um, Silk Cripple's great, but I think I need... I'll take the Silk Cripple. It's infused. Grovel's good. And we are going spells now. All right, build a card. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, buff and heal are both. I want damage. I want to see if I can get sap. Um, descend. Okay. Uh, I guess money. Darn. I guess heal would have been best. Minus two. We can put that in the soul cripple. Purge minus one. We need to get rid of more peck morsels. All right. Start putting minus one into my fractures. We can permafrost the bounding echoes, I think. That's a lot of reap. That's a lot of ember. Let's take a lot of reap. Okay. Let's keep going with this. And the purges. Goodbye, train steward. Goodbye, shade splitter. I'm gonna hold on to that. That might be useful later. God, that guy's scary though. Right. Um Oh, 
There, we need that dead, and we're just gonna pump up this floor a bunch. Okay. That guy was too scary to let live. And that's a sweeper. Let's go ahead. Kill that unit. Give you the buff. I can let both of these eyes. That's fine. I need something to. I need something big for my uh, all my ember generation. I think. He's gonna have to die. Not this four, but the next. Can't take that 30. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pump that up now. And we this is nice because I can get a bunch of units there down. Spectacular. Right, this is good. Might as well just get a bunch of Ember. That's going to be a good amount of stealth just gone, which is wonderful. Oh no! Whatever. Put a damage shield here. We need a couple more stacks of stealth. Let's raise your attack up. And honestly, I think just inspiring is fine. Cool. I like this. I think this is good. Um, hmm. If we take the forest contamination this time, just that big damage killer. Void bindings isn't horrible if I find my holdover. Um, hmm. Do have 400 gold, so trinkets aren't bad for me at all. This, I don't like that ring though. Here, Merchant of Magic again. Is there only the one Merchant of Magic left? That is unfortunate. And do I have any temples? There's no temples. So we're gonna skip. Um, that puts me six on middle floor. It's not bad at all. Karuska, thank you. And let's take the faulty loader. That's going to be good survivability. Let's see, six pips, three, if I, I might do that. Um, I'm gonna play here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go pip next round. I think that's a good call for me, actually. Drop you down. Yeah, I think I like this. I think this deck's gonna work out just fine. Oh, 
Wow, man, that's a unfortunate death. Um, we just kill this one. I think we have to start targeting this guy. These just need to go. I don't need the ember. We need to make sure that dies anytime it comes up, because holy crap, is that scary. This is fine. I'll take a little bit of Ember Drain. I mean, that's a lot of damage I got going there. That's gonna die, that's great. I think we just load you up some more. That was the turn to Bounding Echo. They just got too distracted, it's okay. <laughs> oh well. Um, Almost get the kill, just down on the bottom floor, wow. 100 damage, just very casual damage coming in. Okay, ooh. Ooh, there's the shroud spike, that's gonna be nice. Um, we're gonna take the plus one floor, because that's what I said I was going to do, so I can dupe my unit. Divine Artifacts, also amazing. We definitely want the max health. There's no dupe. I don't really have enough for a trinket. I mean, now I do. <sighs> yes, that is nice. Give you a thunder Thunderstone. And we're going to go Infector 2. Yeah, I don't care. I don't have slots for units. I'm not going to visit that. Oh, let's see how much I regret it. Answer's usually a lot. Um, yeah, it's not going to be enough. I should have just done it here. There we go. As long as I keep him nice and healthy, I think I've got this good and cleared. gonna cripple that. Might as well take you out now. Yeah, it does give me the health boost. I like to do that. Cool. Let us just get rid of our ember.
Oh, he lived. Whoops. That's not cool. All right, I think that should protect me. Just make sure. Yeah. Took a lot of damage because, you know, I'm not paying enough attention, but it's fine. All right, so we can Shade Splitter. It's going to let us Perils and get rid of my hand. Look at that attack on him. Should have played these guys first. It's fine. And... More skip. Take 15 shards. Um, we can take improved firebox. That's not bad at all. Double stack is great for force contamination. I don't really want any of those. Drop cage isn't bad though. Same with life steal. I think I saved the rest now. All right, minus one. We want to be able to cast that, so that gets minus one. Reroll. Permafrost. Do I permafrost the shroud spike or let's permafrost a forgotten trade? Yeah, I like that, and minus one on a Shade Splitter. Alright. So we dupe you. And... What do we purge? I actually kind of like everything in my deck at the moment. I guess we get rid of one of these Forgotten Trades? And the on earth remains. Okay. Let's see what happens exactly. 200 shards totally calculated. Now, the one downside is if I play both of these right away, I don't get to do my rail spike. So I'm going to hold off. I'm greedy and being greedy is fun that's what I figured um, we just need that to die he's scary no one likes scary I have to remember, chased is bad for me. Let's go ahead. Damage shield. That's fine to drop. Um, we'll just descend to you, I think, and give you life steal. The descend pairs very well. Hmm. 
Hmm. I have to do that. Unfortunately. There's a lot of Ember Drain. Three Ember Drain. Oofed. Still Ember Drain, though. <sighs> we just gotta keep you healthy. God, I'm getting Ember Drained like crazy, and I am not having a good time with it. See, that's gonna put me up to four, four times three. No, we're gonna we wanna still cripple that. Um Most of the kill, <laughs> not as clean as I wanted. I am getting the extra attack, right? So the nice thing with him multi-strike, it does pump up my floor every time. What do you got? Ooh, that is a godsend. Titan send, I guess, technically, because it's from half. All right, this time they can't do the annoying stuff. Might as well give you the damage shield. Start pumping up this floor. Do it like this. We're gonna shade splitter first. Then we do it like this, and we're still gonna clear out that guy. Oh, he doesn't die. Um. I'll be out of life steal, so we're gonna do that once down here, just so I kill that 50 damage. Okay. I unfortunately do want to Ember Drain myself. This on the other hand is pretty nice. Yeah, there's the one I want. Um... Gonna give me eight rounds of life steal, which is great. Now I just have to figure out how to kill this boss. And things are golden.
I mean, that definitely helps. Five hundred thirty, not quite enough. Ugh. At least I get plus four, plus four around just for surviving. I do have to do this up here. Oh man. Do I die? Nope. Cool. Thank you, armor. Very cool. I could put this up to 18. That's going to be. 30. Um, let's do this first. Yeah, we're going to do that here. That's the safer call. Honestly. I think I'm fine, right? We just give you some more life steal. And you're just gonna be ramping everything up. Even better, since I still have armor. The don't take damage and my morsels are gonna live because you're gonna be dead. Yeah, I think this is uh, working out quite surprisingly well at the end. Except for the armor, always appreciated. All right, let's talk real quick about this run. So this was a Spine Chief run. Um, I did go with the end up um, was it Infector, I believe. Oh man, I always forget their path names. Check the logbook. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Champions. Yeah, we went Infector 2, Decayer 1. Decayer is just strong once you use it. Infector 2 was fun because I picked up the Keeper of Echoes, right? So that's some extra sustain verse in a uh, relentless when you're hitting for two attacks gives you two multi strike right so that's two more infused echoes gives you two inspired triggers per round since two keeper echoes that's plus four health and plus four attack per round just a little bit extra sustain and ramp which is good and that's for the full floor of course um Early rounds are fine. Did take a lot of here. Those are the damage shield haste guys, unfortunately. And then pretty fine till here when I accidentally leaked a big dude because I wasn't paying close enough attention. And then pretty fine once again. Was saved by, of course, the armor uh, from Hef. Shard of Divinity. But this run itself, yeah. Keeper of Echoes for some nice ramp with Spine Chief. Did play middle thanks to Mindjack's Carving Cross. Got always amazing. 
Uh, but Forest Contamination, especially Double Stack, is a great boss clear ability. Uh, Shroud Spike was useful. It did give me a lot of lifesteal. I did get a bit greedy wanting to get this off before playing the second Keeper. It worked out against Seraph the Chase and Last Divinity without taking any damage. Oh, I did take 10 against Seraph the Chase, excuse me, without taking too much damage. So yeah, um, I mean, there, nothing super fancy out there. Already just super strong keepers plus some extra growth from Spine Chief, uh, Kruska, and Decade Decoy, of course, pulling some good weight. Then a little bit of Shroud Spike action, probably. Honestly, nowadays, my favorite card in the game is just Shroud Spike. There's so many fun shenanigans with it. But yeah, that that was the run. If you want to try it yourself, you are welcome to. The challenge code is Charged Adapter Altered. All right. Thank you for watching and have fun.